guys, I am pre-filming my Satmorn makes with Jill Norwood, um, just because I'm going to Ben Franklin tomorrow for the first time in probably like six months, well, I don't know, quite a while. Anyway, so all I did was for this, you've already seen me share some of this using, on another video, this die here. And so, oh, and I made, I'm going to make something with this. The B. So we got on there though. I don't know. It'll probably get covered. God. Anyway, I turned them into cards and things and added some embellishments. So I wanted to share that with you. Let's see here. So nothing hugely different here. I just mounted it to cards, pre made cards. And this was from Hobby Lobby. I got it for $6.24 in all those fall colors. So that's perfect. And I thought that went really well. So well, there's this one. I haven't put anything on the inside. So this was with, somebody was saying they were, this was the glitter paper. So I did it twice with the napkin, cut it out that fall dye twice um, with napkin and then also glitter paper so I could interchange it, right? So here's the napkin, but this outline here, that glitter is the glitter paper. Let's see, I have it right. No, this isn't it, but <laughs> sorry. I thought that was it. I don't know. There's so much. So here it is. So I cut it out with the glitter paper, and I cut it out, out of my napkin that I mounted to cardstock. <laughs> sorry. It's like, get in there. Anyway, so that's how that worked. It's not embossed, but, and then I colored it in with um, my Distress Oxides. I'm really happy with how that turned out. So then the background is a plaid napkin that I had mounted to cardstock. So very fun. I'm having fun. I'm watching all these videos. And then I did this one. So this one, this is the glitter paper and this is the napkin cut out. If that makes sense. The outline of the uh, the leaves is the napkin piece. And then I filled in the letters with the glitter letters. And then I mounted it on some, kind of killed me to do that because it's like, okay, I'm covering that beautiful piece of paper. So probably shouldn't have, but it was there. And I, seriously, I have like 5 million of those napkins. So I could do another one, right? That's the beauty of napkins. They're super cheap. So there is, are those. And then I just finished up using, um, shoot, well, you'll see the napkin. Anyway, I have this die, and I've had it just kind of out and about, so it's getting used. And it does this lace. Let's see if I have, I cut it out in some pearly paper, but I didn't use this color on my project. But, oh, and then I did it in this off-white, took my vintage photo and rubbed it on there to give it that old look. I also used some of my DIY um, stickers, wood stickers. I think I got these, yeah, I know I got these last year. They were just pumpkin and leaves, so I used those. And I recently found this bag of Rick Rack. So I pulled out this one from it. It's off-white and gold, and it was uber old. I think I'm saving the packaging. But anyway, so I put that around it, and here's what I came up with. And this is a napkin here. And I just, I didn't like it without something around it. It was very plain, so. And then I distress oxide in my, um, pumpkin and my leaf to kind of match and have the fall colors. So for that, I don't know if I have all my colors out. I thought I did. Oh yeah, I do. So again, I used the little stem. I just used a makeup. If you can see that there, how it's brown. If you look really closely, there we go. So I just used vintage photo again to color that in. And for that I used, I bought a whole, bunch of these on Amazon just to color in with things 
It works good with chalks. And then I use, these are detail brushes, craft brushes, they're called, on flat tipped on Amazon. I left them a link, so watch my video that I did right before this one, and you'll see what those are. So it really gets in their detail, obviously. And I did the leaves, and then I came in and then did the brown, did the my carved pumpkin first. And then went over that with candied apple just to give it some depth. And then I just lightly went in with some lines. Ooh, stuff wobbled. If you see there with um, American Crafts fine tip pen, precision pen. Any fine tip pen would work. So I don't know what this one is. It's Ot 303. So it's pretty tiny if you see that. Micron pens work great. This just happened to be in my little caddy here. Being the lazy crafter that I am, it has to be within reach or I can't. So I'm like kind of buried in here right now. It's not pretty, people. It's not pretty. So yeah, I wanted to share what I turned. I turned those into cards. My napkins. I went the next step. And, um, yeah, having a lot of fun creating with those. And it's just so different. I don't know. It's just, and somebody was mentioning, and I think that's true, the texture of them. It's almost like cloth when you get, get it done. I was just watching a gal, and I'm sure you all know about this, but um, doing it with ironing it on with plastic wrap and parchment paper and stuff. It was taking her a really long time. I was like, eh, this was pretty quick. I did one... This this one I used just a glue stick. Somebody suggested they just said, "Oh, we just I just used the glue stick." Hello, there you go. So yeah, it's got a couple of bumps in it, but that's okay. Kind of gives it that look, you know, crafty look. It doesn't have to be perfect because then it's kind of boring. Oh, here's the pack. I'm keeping this for my junk journals. Isn't that cute? So this is Penny's white gold machine washable. I don't know. Cost 13 cents back in the day, so Jace from JC Pennies. Wow. Dry away from the sunlight. Machine washable. I don't know if it says a year on here. That's really cool. Laboratory tested and approved. Well, there you go. Three yards. Always first quality. That's cool. I don't know. Just I like this. Do not boil or use bleaching agents. Okay, I wasn't... <laughs> anyway, cute, cute, and more cute. So there you go. I kind of outlined a little bit. I just go in really lightly with my pen. I actually, to be honest, had to redo the pumpkin because I kind of bloopered on him. And it started looking a little more like a tomato, I thought. So I threw it away. I didn't like it. So then I was trying to turn a mistake, make it look like it was supposed to be it. It's, yeah, no. So, boop, into the garbage. That one went, and I redid that. So, yeah, there it is. Satmorn Makes. Hashtag Satmorn Makes is what you want to watch. Jill Norwood. There's so many people I don't always post, but I try to. It gives me a goal for the week, right, to kind of get things put together so I can share something with you guys on Saturday morning. So, I will have, I'm sure, a haul from... <clears throat> I tried this and I didn't like, I was going to make a bow and I put, I'll keep the bow. I like the bow. I just didn't like how it looked on the card. So this is that off white. Sorry. I'll try to, I'm sure I'll have a haul is what I'm saying. This is that cream colored off white lace from Dollar Tree. And then I went in with vintage photo and just brushed it on both sides. And um, now you have an old looking bow. So I will keep it. It'll go in my bow drawer over here, but it won't go to waste. It'll get used eventually. All right, guys. So this really is the newest one you're seeing, and I hope everybody has a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.